Hello, Spanish Fort United Methodist Church. This is Jennifer Robertson, your Director of Children's and Nursery Ministries, and I am here today to do your Pray Down at Noon this Saturday. Um, I hope that you guys are getting out and enjoying this beautiful Saturday that is here. Um, it is just the sun is out and um, the wind is blowing and it is finally starting to feel, I think, a little bit like um, summertime coming soon. Well, this weekend I wanted to talk to you guys. Um, I was um, doing my scripture readings and doing some devotionals, but I was really thinking about um, this uh, this week and what we're going to be celebrating as a country, and that being Memorial Day, and um, the fact that we celebrate Memorial Day um, by remembering those who have died um, for our freedom here um, in our country, and I think that of course um it is a time that we as a church can also um, remember um so many of those who have sacrificed their life for us for our freedom to um, have freedom of religion for our freedom of, of all things that we get to enjoy and experience here um, by living and being um, a united in the united states um one scripture that um, I wanted to read today is John fifteen thirteen, and it says, Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friend. And that is exactly what I think, um, what I, I think and feel that um, those who, as we remember them today, um, and as we remember them this week, um, that they, they lay down their life for us. And that is a huge sacrifice that they had made for us and for the things that we get to do. But also it reminds me um, very much of what Jesus did for us. He died for us so that we may live in salvation and eternity um, with God again. And so he laid down his own life so that we might be able to live in eternity with him. So today I'm going to um, remember, um, my focus is going to be on those who have um, who have gone into war and, who, and their families and those that have been lost. Um, that have, have that have done a service just similar to how Jesus laid down His life for us, um, but in but in a, in a different way. Um, so I'm going to end today's prayer with the Lord's prayer, and I hope that you all will um, join me in saying that together as we pray as a church um, here on this Saturday um, afternoon. So let's go to pray. Dear Heavenly Father. I thank you for this day. I thank you for this beautiful sunshine. I thank you for this, the freedom of whatever we are doing today, Lord. Um, thank you for your son, Jesus, who died for us so that we might live in eternity with you in heaven. For the salvation we have been given through the sacrifice of your son, Lord. Lord, today I especially wanna, want to focus and pray for those those fellow citizens and neighbors of ours who have fought a good fight and who lost their life in doing so. Lord, we thank you for them. We remember them and who they are and who they are to you as your child. We thank you for the freedoms that we have here in this country to worship you freely to show others love in ways that have no bounds, to give to the poor, to lift up the oppressed, and to ensure that all know the love that you have for us. Lord, I pray today for families, um, those who may be remembering their loved ones who have gone to battle, who've gone to war, and that have lost their life. Lord, I pray that you would surround them with wonderful memories of their loved ones, the funny stories that they may have, the kind things that they may have done. Lord, and I ask that you use us to help in those memories, Lord. Help us to remember those people ourselves and help us to share that love with those who are maybe, maybe suffering today, maybe missing their loved ones, Lord, I pray for all of our military men and women that each day go out on the front lines to ensure our freedom here in this country. Be with them and protect them. Remind them of those who went before them so that they too may find strength, hope, and love among your people. 
Lord, I ask that you make this day, this Memorial Day this year, one that is full of your grace and glory. Help us to remember, help us to celebrate the lives of those who sacrificed everything they had for us. Ask that you be with all that are traveling, all who may be traveling to different places to visit family. Ask that you be with them and keep them safe and protect them. Help our families to come together and in a new way, celebrate and remember these mighty warriors that you have blessed our lives with and help us give thanks in a new way that not only remembers them, but gives glory to you. It's in your name that you taught us oh so long ago to pray, that we pray saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. So church family, I hope if you have some people out there today that you are remembering, um, that you will um, know that we, uh, as your church staff and as, as a, me, as a part of your church family, that I am praying and remembering them today um, in my heart and in, in my prayers and with my family. Um, and that we're going to be doing that all weekend. Um, we are so very blessed to live in a country um, where we have those who fight for our freedom each and every day. And those who have laid down their life, just like it says in the Gospel of John, um, for one's friend. Um, they are the epitome of what Jesus did for us, and I am grateful for them. So, I hope you will join us for worship on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. live on Facebook, or that you will listen um, to our um, 103.3 radio station. Um, we will be um, having our service there if you miss it online live on um, this Sunday. So, I hope that you guys will join us, and I can't wait until we are seeing each other face to face, but until then, I will see you Sunday at 10 a.m. Bye, guys, and happy Memorial Day.